Okay, so I'm working on this 2280. We're about ready to, I'm going to put the float in now. We got most of the bowl uh, assembled. So, here we go. We got our float. You want the tab pointed up, and incidentally I'm replacing this with a new, uh, I'm replacing the old float. Um, always do on these because uh, they'll give you trouble. Alright, so we got the uh, tab pointed up here. Uh, this baffle here, kind of put it over like that. These tabs, uh, let's see, I believe they go down. I'm going to look here and make sure. Tabs pointing downward. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so these go downward. And it tells you right in the instructions, incidentally, in case you forget. And then you put your pin in this way. Okay. Just like that. So there you go. You got it assembled. So then we're going to take this and just slide it down. That baffle kind of sits a little tight, but uh, there. So you can see my pin going down the uh, slot. There we go. Okay, baffles all the way down, flush with the top. My float is still, uh, you know, it's not hitting the baffle or anything. Just make sure, just in case I stepped on the baffle and bend it, bent it. Um, all right, so the uh, uh, next thing will be the idle mixture screw. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> okay, the needle and seat. All right, so. Um, this here, that's clean from a little gasket. Uh, sometimes you might have to take a, uh, a flat file. Be really careful and just make that flat and if you had any leakage problems. But you put your uh, metal washer over the uh, uh, needle and seat threads here. And I don't like the way they do these because it, it's tight, it's loose, it's tight, and it's a weird deal. Um, and you want this real tight. They actually say like 200 foot pounds. That's a lot. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. Um, and then we're going to uh, adjust the float. And uh, let's see if there's a picture in here. Oh. Uh, yeah, kind of, but anyway, it's uh, so the float level on this thing is uh, I believe it's nine thirty seconds. You go by the uh, data table. Uh, it's nine thirty seconds on this one. Uh, so I take my little um, measuring stick here, and I got your thirty seconds. And you want to hold the uh, that little tab up against the needle. Don't don't press just you know put it up there and you're going to measure from the top of the float bowl to the top of the uh, float and you want in this case 930 seconds yours may be a little bit different but it'll be real close to that and um, you want both sides the same and if it's not then you have to bend the uh, bend the float right here at the tab and I just put I just press the two floats down sometimes that'll do it if you can hold it enough okay so I'm still a little bit too high too low on that side so I gotta mess around with the float here fortunately there's not room for four hands That one bent back up, and this one bent it down a little. Real close there. And that one is right on. And this one just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, I'm about 10. Which is probably okay, but I'll get her. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to try to do this without taking the float in and out. It'll take forever. 
Yeah, it bends around, it bends pretty easy, so. Stupid thing would stay where it's supposed to. I'd rather have the two even. There we go. Okay. Looking good now. Alright, so there we got the float. We have, basically we have the float ball um, together. So, the next thing I do, I don't have anything that will fall out. Check everything, make sure I didn't forget something. Um, we'll turn it over here. And we have our throttle body to float bowl gasket that goes on here and uh, gotta get going the right way fits on there real nice like I said spray it with some lubricant and we have to take it off again for some reason um, the gasket will come off and I gotta go fetch the uh, throttle body so I'll be right back